welcome. Uh, Adila Barnes, welcome back, of course. No stranger to the Derek Shapiro show. Um, um, and, of course, she's a classic. She was on the original Roseanne. She was in, in Erin Brockovich with Hilary Swank. She was in, um, of course, uh, I Enjoyed Angels with um, um, Julia Roberts, right? Um, uh, with Hilary Swank. Oh, Hilary Swank. And then, and then I Enjoyed Angel. You know, and then, Aaron um, Brockovich with Julia Roberts. That's uh-huh. right. Erin Brockovich with Julia Roberts. And then, of course, you're in a new show now. On, um, wait a second, uh, CW, right? Right, on the CW network, the name of the show is 4400. And yes. you play Mrs. Grover. Mrs. Grover, the very warm, loving, maternal, wise Mrs. Grover. Now, Loved by all. Now, how many episodes have you been on so far? I've been on four, and uh, so there was an order for 13 episodes for the first season. I was in four out of 13, and so we're now waiting to see if we are going to have a second season. We don't know yet. Wow, so that is pretty, pretty cool. You know, I was watching the beginning of it in, 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 in um, one time, and then, of course, my son got a little freaked out by the beginning, so... I rewatched it when my son wasn't there. My daughter actually liked the show, but she's twenty one, you know, and right. and 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 my daughter got into it. And and you know, I don't have cable where I am. I I have everything on um online over here. Like I, I have a lot of YouTube, Netflix, and everything like that. So I go to my parents' right. house to watch regular TV. You know what I'm saying? So so I right. I got to um um. Watch it on demand. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Okay. But, but but what I saw of your character, your uh, you, um um um. As I recall, I I watched like two episodes of you, and you okay. Of 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 course, you played like the nice mother on um on forty four hundred. Um, how th- this is a different role than you playing Anne Marie from uh, Roseanne, you know. Um, very different, very different, yes. What, what, and actually, Mrs. Grover is like a maternal figure for the character Shanice, who is the lead actor on the show, but she's not actually her mother, but she's a mother figure to her, having kept her after school, and as Shanice says, changed my diapers, fed me, all of that from when she was very, very tiny. Wow, so a mother figure, so... you. Yeah. You know it's funny because you know I have a friend and and she always says I'm a, like an uncle to her kids, which recently my sister just Aww. became my sister became a mother for the first time. So now I have my own niece. So I can see how it means like you know like I've had my own like like adopted kids, not really adopted, but like like I was a father figure to them in addition to my own children. You know, so I I can see I I can see where your character. I'm sorry. Figure and not even be a blood relative. Yes, exactly. And 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 I think it's a cool concept. How how what I recall from that show because I only watched like two episodes of it. Um, um of of how um you, like the character is younger because because they were held back because of the alien abduction, right? Okay. Interpretation. Okay. But it could very well be aliens because they all saw this green light, yeah. and the next thing they knew, they sort of blacked out. Shanice was thrown from her car, and it was like, "What?" And then there's like a time span. They're like in a uh, time tunnel, and you've got all these individuals from different eras that are all right there together. Forty four hundred people. So it's 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 like the interpretation is it's like my friend would say it's like my jokes when I tell my bad jokes is up for interpretation. <laughs> um, but it, 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 my friend would say it's like my bad jokes it's up for interpretation. You know, like oh. you know. Okay. <laughs> but so so when when you got the script from CW, were you shocked about how you would your character would would be portrayed or? Or did you know how you would you, you would play this character? 
Well, you know, actually, uh, to be very honest, when the agents schedule the interview, uh, well, actually, the self-tape, because most everybody's self-taping now. Yeah. Uh, because of the pandemic, we're not going into the casting director's offices like we used to. We're not having producer sessions in person like we used to. So it's a whole different world. So when I did the self-tape for the character Mrs. Grover, I was thinking it was a guest starring role, and I was thinking it was for one episode. And when the offer came through and I learned that she was likely to be recurring, and when I learned that we were actually shooting in Chicago, I said, oh my gosh, I didn't realize all of that. This is really something. And uh, so not only did Mrs. Grover recur, but they expanded her role to have relationships with more than just Shanice, which we learned in the first character, her relationship that goes back to childhood. But she also had um, interactions with other characters, Shanice's husband and um, two of the people that are part of 4400, one who's like, um, kind of like a... Uh, Oh, uh, what would you call her? She's one of the authority figures for 4400. Sure. And then the other one is like one of the quote-unquote inmates of 4400. So her relationship really grew over those four episodes, which was very exciting. Um, also, um, um, tell me about, about um, what you think about your past relationships with people who you acted with, because... You know, I was originally, um, you originally, you know, started Roseanne, of course, you know. And I was re recently watching a movie with my son. I was watching Monster, Monsters, Inc. And it was funny. It was literally last night. I says, oh, I'm interviewing a dealer tomorrow, you know, who acted with John Goodman, you know. What, what What's your fondest thoughts about acting with John Goodman? Oh, John is just, he's a sweetheart. He's a big teddy bear. Yeah. And, um... I found him actually to be very shy, which is kind of unexpected and uh, in terms of his persona as an actor, but I found him to be very warm, very jovial, um, as I said, very shy. And I remember once, I hadn't been on the show for a few episodes, I don't know how many, I can't remember now, but I hadn't been on the show for a while and I came back. And when I walked into the kitchen on set, he just grabbed me and twirled me around. I was like, wow, this is so unlike John. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a warm, welcoming moment of him saying, glad to have you back. It was very warm. It was a beautiful moment. That's one of my fondest memories with John. And of course, um, I'm this, it's no, been no, um, no secret over the years. You've been great friends with Danny Glover. What does Danny Glover mean to you? Danny and I go way back, close to probably 40 years now. So we both cut our teeth on professional theater in the Bay Area. And um, Danny is just wonderful. He's maintained his relationship with me and many others, even though, you know, he's now a celebrity. And he gives back to the community, and he's been on my uh, honorary uh, chairpersons list with my Los Angeles Women's Theater Festival for many years. And um, so not only has he lent his name as an honorary chair for the Los Angeles Women's Theater Festival, but he also has been a donor and he's been a co-host coming back to co-host with uh, Hattie Winston one year, who also is a an honorary co-chair. He's just really been very supportive, and um, when we've had silent auctions, I remember one year he gave items for the silent auction. He's just been very supportive and a good person, and we have a very real relationship because our relationship goes back pre-celebrity them. So we were both just in the trenches as actors, and he and I did a play together in Marin County. Uh, so we just have a long history together. And you know, of course, I, I got to ask uh, you, being in the um, um, acting profession, um, and of course, I don't know if you ever met her. What, what did Betty White mean to you as an actress? Oh, I never 
have met Betty, I'm so sorry, I never had an opportunity to work with her, but she was just such a role model for younger actors. And she was like an ever-ready battery. She just kept going. And, I mean, to make it to 94 and still be working is just remarkable. And always warm, that beautiful smile. I've never heard an unkind word said of her. And there are very few people that you can say that about. But she certainly is one of them. And, of course, you were on the same network. When you were on Roseanne, Full House was on, you know? Um, what about... Uh, okay. What did, what did um, Bob Sackett mean to you? I never met him. I never knew him personally. So I can't really respond to that in a very personal way. Of course, I've seen his work, but I, I never knew him, actually. Yeah. But I know he's a role model for many, and many really loved him. They loved the show, and so he had a lot of fans, a lot of followers. Well, you, you know, it's like, it's like, it was a 360 connection. Um, um because, you know, I interviewed Dave Clier before uh, many years ago, you know. Uh, the time I interviewed you and I interviewed um, Candace Cameron, who played DJ on Full House, uh, via phone, uh -huh. you know. And and, and it's funny because, actually, um, you acted with Roseanne Barr, of course, you know. And Roseanne acted on General Hospital. And John Stamos acted on General Hospital. And John Stamos acted with Bob Sackett. So, it's kind of a connection. The acting goes. <laughs> so... Hospital, no, or they just happened to both be on the show at different times. No, so Roseanne guest starred on General Hospital um, on one time back in the nineties, you know, and um, uh -huh. and then he act, she acted with Anthony Geary. Anthony Geary acted with John Stamos, and John Stamos acted with Bob Sackett. So wow, so. the circle. And, yes. and, and, and I, with me doing my, you know, I do um, independent films. My friend Vinny Bucci acted with somebody who acted with Martin Lawrence, who acted with Will Smith. So if you go if you go down the line, I have FaceTime with my friend Vinny Bucci on Atlanta. Uh, Vinny Bucci has this FaceTime acting with somebody who has been on Martin, and it goes FaceTime. So it's all connected. <laughs> all connected. We're three degrees away from each other. Yes. I'm telling you. Closer. Yes. Uh, well, mm -hmm. Well, it feels like three degrees in New England right now because it's like literally in the teens right now, you know? Literally, I, 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 yes. And this is the first year I'm interviewing you from Rhode Island because usually I interview, I interview you in Massachusetts, but I recently moved down to Rhode That's Island, right. my, back to my home state. I mean, the first year I, I interviewed you in Georgia, then Massachusetts, and now my home state yes. here in Cranston, Rhode Island. and. It, it, it's it's really something. Um, you, I mean, I wish you could come down to Rhode Island and see my home state sometime, you know? You would absolutely wow. love it. And, well, you know, I've actually done my one-woman show there. I, I performed in Rhode Island. And, uh, we're both. My one-woman show, on my own terms, One Actor's Journey, has toured 40 states, and Rhode Island was one of them. Do, do you remember where in Rhode Island? I can't remember. I know it was for a private group. Okay. So it wasn't at a theater. And um, I cannot remember. The show, you know, performed so many places over the years, so many places. But I do know that it was in Rhode Island, and it was for a private organization that I performed. Do you think you're, you're going to go on tour again with that? No, I've really retired the show. After 40 states, three continents, you know, I've... I've done a lot. I've reached a lot of hearts. I've connected with a lot of individuals. I've done what I call edutainment. And um, so, if anything, I would work in a younger actor and have her continue with the show, if anything. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Well, I do uh -huh. thank you very much, Adila Bonds, for joining us here back this year, here in 2022. And uh, I can tell you're having a successful year so far, you know? And, and. Well, let's wonderful year for all of us yes. and um, you know I've got my little quote which is um, let's let's start anew in 22 and so it is I like that I like that well thank you very yeah. much Adila Barnes for joining me once again you know, it, it, it's, it's been a pleasure and of course you know I always text you off the air too and also, I texted you off the air, um, um, you know, a few weeks ago. 
There's a box set of Roseanne of all the seasons I saw at FYE. Oh, I saw that. Thank you for sending that to me. Yes. I saw it, that. And of course, well, it doesn't... Surely the character Anne Marie is in there, too. I haven't seen it personally, but I imagine she is part of it. Yes, because because it says all like all the seasons, and, and of course, your name wasn't listed on there, but of course, all the seasons, so Anne Marie must be on there because you and a lot of episodes. It is so funny because I'll be right. texting you every time... Every time I see you on TV Land, I'd, I'd be saying, "Oh yeah, you're on TV Land." <laughs> How yes, often? Nick at night, TV Land. So thank goodness for the reruns. We're still being played all of the time. How how often do you flip on TV Land and and just see yourself on there? You know what? I I don't really watch that station very much, and so I can't answer that. But every now and then, uh, I might see myself on Roseanne, either on that network or one of the others that play reruns. And it's always a joy to be able to see some of the old episodes. I always appreciate it. It brings back the memories of the show. Yes. It, you know, sometimes seeing my my, my old work of, of either acting or doing something on YouTube Sometimes, sometimes it depresses me because I'm forty. Well, I'm forty four, and you you look definitely still younger than me. You know what I'm saying? But but well, the, you're so kind. <laughs> but the, but the thing is, lo- looking at myself and, and looking at old pictures. Like my daughter was looking at, at an old picture of myself, and and she says, "Dad, you look so young." And I was looking at myself. I said, "Oh my God, I, I kind of really do because I have so much gray hair now in my beard and my hair." <laughs> And, uh, and I lost some here since then. It's, it's like sometimes I don't want to look at my old self. Sometimes I just say, okay, let's just go forward, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it's just a reminder of our journey. And so I think that's okay to be able to look at our old photos because when I look at my old work, I go, wow, that was another time. Exactly. And I did look younger. I was younger. But it's a blessing to know that I am still working as a veteran actor. So hallelujah, and I'm glad of that. Yes. Well, thank you again once again, Adila.